have to hide. Welcome to Pure Power Wrestling Power Slam. My name is Kevin Farrell, and in tonight's feature contest, we will have the Power Rumble 15-man over-the-top rope battle royal to determine the number one contender for the Pure Power Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Let's not waste a moment, folks. Let's get to the ring for highlights from the Power Rumble. And unlucky number one tonight, it appears to be Chris Parrish. He is going to have to go coast to coast. He is going to have to beat 14 other men if he wants any hope of becoming PPW heavyweight champion. As he makes his way out, a slightly different reception from the PPW fans that we come to expect from Chris Parrish. Waiting now on number two, our second entry. And entrant number two, you hear it here, folks. Jumpin' Josh, PPW fan favorite. He's going to make his way to the ring. And, I mean, just like Chris Parrish, he's going to have to overcome 14 other men. He's going to have to go coast to coast if he wants his chance to take on Kyle Sebastian. And here comes Cyanide from behind, taking out Jumpin' Josh. What does he have in his hand there? Well, it looks like, it, it looks like one of the number envelopes. What in the world does Cyanide have in mind? And well, Cyanide and Chris Parrish with Chris Parrish flying into frame here, taking out Cyanide. A series of shots. Cyanide and Parrish have had their problems in recent weeks, and it looks like Cyanide is willing to start this match at number two if it means getting his hands on Chris Parrish. And a knee to the gut from Parrish. Side headlock, these two men starting the over-the-top battle royal at ringside here with a brawl around the ringside area as, as official Shane Williams helps jump and Josh to the back. We've got Cyanide and Chris Parrish brawling here in the background. Thunderous chop from Chris Parrish and a right straight to the face. And Parrish here with a clubbing blow to the back. Following it up with a boot right to the face. Cyanide is down at ringside. These two men have not gotten into the ring. This match not officially underway. Remember, the only way to eliminate somebody from this match is to throw them over the top rope, both feet touching the floor. Th that'll be an elimination. They will be from ringside by our referees. And it looks like Chris Parrish may be attempting here. No! Cyanide's head off the apron and a second time! Parrish with another shot. Looking for an Irish whip reversed by Cyanide and Parrish hard into that steel post. Chris Parrish down at ringside. Cyanide trying to recover. Parrish took that post extra hard. Not just face first, but you saw his hip come crashing into that solid steel post as Cyanide rolls him into the ring. It looks like we may be officially underway with the first two entrants in the Power Rumble as the buzzer sounds and the third entrant going to make his way to the ring now. Who is that third entrant? And here comes Kato, entrant number three in the Power Rumble. And it looks like we may have a two-on-one situation here, folks. Cyanide and Kato gonna be taking, gonna be looking to take out Chris Parrish, looking for the early elimination. Parrish has got one foot up. Cyanide and Kato with the second foot, gonna try to put Parrish up over the top rope. Parrish now fighting back with a series of boots. Kato right back on Parrish though, shot to the gut. Point of the elbow right to the head. A couple of shots here. Choking Chris Parrish in the corner. Cyanide back up. Well, Kato trying to direct traffic here. The next entrant, the big sexy BCC in the corner of your screen there. Kato on the outside, not eliminated. Still involved in this match. Appears to be taking a break. The big sexy beast now. And Cyanide both in the ring. Big sexy beast, blatant choke. No count outs, no disqualifications in this match. And the big sexy beast here now appears to be directing traffic. Parrish trying to fight back against Cyanide, but absolutely no luck. And I mean, we are in a two on one situation. Hard Irish whip into a big clothesline, turning Chris Parrish inside out. And it looks like the big sexy beast is having the time of his life. 
Very similar to last year's Power Rumble, ladies and gentlemen. The big sexy beast, an early entrant. And I mean, just having his way with the smaller opponents, as you see a forearm to the side of the face of Chris Parrish. And Big Sexy Beast with a chop. You hear the sound of that huge chop from the Beast as Parrish trying to fight back against both men. Managing to create a little bit of separation, but there you see a right hand from Cyanide stopping any momentum Parrish may have started. Irish whip corner to corner and follows it up with a clothesline. Holding Parrish in there, you hear the buzzer sound. We've got our next entry. Who is it? It's the Irishman coming to the aid of Chris Parrish. We saw just a few weeks ago the Irishman and Chris Parrish shaking hands and the Irishman evening up the odds. You hear the reaction from these PPW fans and the newfound respect, something of an alliance forming between the Irishman and Chris Parrish. Irishman standing tall. We've got we've got both Cyanide, the big sexy beast, as well as Kato at ringside. Cyanide slowly making his way back in. Big sexy beast back in. And I mean it looked like they were gonna try for the two-on-one. Chris Parrish though recovers and he is on top of Cyanide. Big sexy beast now on top of the Irishman. And Parrish with a shot to the side of the head. Parrish with a low running drop kick. Irishman now turning things around in the corner and a chop to the big sexy beast. Both Chris Parrish and Cyanide are down. Parrish slow moving here. Chris Cyanide slammed by the Irishman in the middle of the ring and Cyanide's head off the turnbuckle. The big sexy beast now trying to capitalize here on a worn down Chris Parrish in the early going of this match and a wedgie from the Irishman. A wedgie to Bradley Graham. And a big shot to the back, you hear the buzzer. Our next entrant in the Power Rumble, Skylar Paris Austin. Not a long, not a lot of experience here from SPA. Coming from Red Deer's Canadian Wrestling Coalition, and you see that lack of experience coming into play already. Chris Parrish taking the wrestling helmet off of SPA's head, and he's going to have a little bit of fun here, putting it on his own head as the Irishman begins chopping SPA in the corner. Chris Parrish looks for the Irish whip, and a flying headbutt right to the gut of SPA. And here we go with our next entrant, Mystic, the young high flying Mystic flying forearm off the top and a super kick to the big sexy beast mystic giving up probably 200 pounds to the 369 pound big sexy beast as irishman stumps on the chest of cyanide mystic and irishman trying to throw the big sexy beast out of this match but the big sexy beast having none of it fighting back easily shrugging off mystic looks like kato may be trying to get involved here Look, maybe thought better of it the big sexy beast in Parrish now tied up. Irish whip attempt here from Chris Parrish. Not budging the big sexy beast in a reversal. Hard throw into the corner. Bradley Graham now trying to eliminate Parrish and from behind making the save. Once again the Irishman, but Cyanide from behind on Irishman now. And Mystic trying to take advantage here of a distracted Cyanide. Mystic once again trying to get on the big sexy beast, giving up so much size you hear the buzzer for our next entrant in this match and the big sexy beast raining down blows as you see Cowboy Bryn Watts slowly making his way out here, not in any rush to get into this match. He is going to take his time and pick his spot. You see him coming up from behind, climbing up to the top rope, not officially in this match until he comes up over the top and choking choking the Irishman now. Cowboy Bryn Watts officially in this match as he steps foot into the ring. Pounding down on the Irishman and walking into a super kick from Chris Parrish. Parrish and the Irishman working extremely well in the early going of this match. Back chop from Parrish to the Big Sexy Beast as, big, as Parrish goes after the nipples of the Big Sexy Beast. And there we see the nipple ringer from Chris Parrish. And the big sexy beast reversing now with a nipple ringer of his own. That nipple based offense of the BSB that we've all come to love. 
The PPW wrestlers, on the other hand. And there you see a two fingers to the eyes of the big sexy beast. But, I mean, no momentum gained by Chris Parrish as Cyanide comes right in from behind and takes him down. The ring's starting to fill with bodies here. Absolute chaos in the Power Rumble so far. The big sexy beast manhandles Mystic in one corner. You've got the cowboy stomping away at Parrish in another. And Cyanide choking the Irishman in a third. As you hear the buzzer, we've got the next entry. And Mystic easily dumped over the top rope by the big sexy beast. Our next entry, Kenneth Kendall, PPW official, taking off the referee shirt. Going to get in this match and, I mean... Look at who he's in the ring with here. The Cowboy, a slap to the Cowboy. Not a wise decision. He may be outclassed by Cowboy Bryn Watts, Cyanide, and the Big Sexy Beast as they begin beating down Kenneth Kendall. You see that chop from Cyanide. It looks like the Big Sexy Beast is going to follow up with one of his own. Beautiful chop from the Big Sexy Beast. And having his way with Kenneth Kendall. Our next entry in this match, Tiny Jenkins in the red, coming in from behind, attempting to go after Chris Parrish, but absolutely no luck. Chris Parrish easily out-wrestling Tiny Jenkins. I mean, obviously one of those ironic nicknames you hear so much about. And a beautiful chop from the Irishman as he goes right back to work on Cowboy Bryn Watts. Chops, one for Bryn, one for Jenkins, and another chop from Chris Parrish. Tiny Jenkins, I mean, I think he's regretting his decision to enter the Power Rumble tonight. As you see shots here from the Irishman. Big Sexy Beast now. And a beautiful overhand chop in the background there from Cowboy Bryn Watts. I mean, Chris Parrish has been in this match a long time. The Irishman in this match a long time. The Big Sexy Beast and Cyanide, as you see, pulling Chris Parrish groin first into the post. Another guy who's been in this match a long time at coming in at number two, just like Chris Parrish at number one. You see official Kenneth Kendall down in the corner as the Irishman with a beautiful shot to the Big Sexy Beast. And the Cowboy from behind, as you hear the buzzer, our next entrant making his way to the ring. Sidney Steele going right after the Cowboy. Chops here for everyone in attendance. A punch to the face. A couple of punches for Cyanide. Looking to toss him over the top rope. And a back chop here from the big sexy beast as he delivers a huge forearm across the shoulders of Steele. Pandemonium. Absolute pandemonium in the ring. You see Cowboy attempting to eliminate Tiny Jenkins. No luck. And a shot right to the back of Chris Parrish. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just got to take a moment to help thank some of the sponsors that make these PPW events possible. Starting, of course, with Backbreaker Media. As you see, Jude Dawkins and Sean Martins center of the ring face to face. We've got the Flamin group of companies. RPH Irrigation Services Limited, as Jude Dawkins is attempting to eliminate Sean Martins. The Smokehouse Barbecue and Bar. Party Central Party Supplies. Domino's Pizza, official pizza of Jude Dawkins. Logic Lumber, beautiful chop from Sean Martins. Shot to the head. Sam's Donairs and Hamburgers. As Cyanide attempting to tap out, no submissions in this match. New Light Electric, and of course, King of Trade, where you can get your tickets to all PPW events, including when Pure Power Wrestling returns live. Saturday, March 24th, to the German-Canadian Club of Lethbridge. Tickets available now at King of Trade and online at purepowerwrestling.ca. As you see this absolute pandemonium, Bradley Graham managing to move out of the way, and the Irishman getting eliminated just before Steve Rivers makes his way into the ring. Jude Dawkins now in danger of elimination from Sean Martins, putting a lot of pressure on Dawkins on the apron. Dawkins just barely holding on. You see Steve Rivers in the back there already making his presence felt with a series of shots to Cyanide, and Dawkins still holding on tight will not be eliminated in this match.
blatant choke from Rivers to Cyanide. And we've got Parrish here with a series of elbows, points of the elbow to the big sexy beast and Dawkins still just barely holding on. Sydney Steele down in a corner now from an attack. The hands of Steve Rivers and a hard Irish whip and are followed up by a splash to Chris Parrish. Rivers now looking to eliminate Steele. Steele will not go out that easily though. Trying his best to fight back and boxing the ears of Steve Rivers with his boots. And there we see a shot to the throat from Steele. And now turning the tables, trying to eliminate Rivers on his own. Martins still has Jude Dawkins out on the apron, trying to eliminate him. You hear the buzzer. Our next entrant making his way to the ring. Still battling on the apron. And our next entrant, massive damage. The tattooed Terminator going right to work with a series of chops. These gunshot like chops to everybody in the ring shots to everybody absolutely nobody spared Jude Dawkins with a chop to the back massive damage now sending the big sexy beast and Steve Rivers head to head and Cyanide attempting a chop maybe not the best decision from Cyanide massive damage I mean he just looks mad he just looks like Cyanide made him mad as he slams Cyanide's face off the turnbuckle. And there we hear that thunderous chop as Chris Parrish with a super kick eliminates Sean Martins. Massive damage with a series of shots here. Putting down Cyanide. The next two entrants in this match, Vinny Valentine and Travis the Heat Copeland, PPW Cruiserweight Champion. Copeland going right after Valentine. Chop to the chest of Vinny Valentine. We have seen a lot of chops in this match. And Cyanide from behind. Cyanide and Copeland have had their problems in the past. And a shot to the back from Vinny Valentine on Travis Copeland. <laughs> Vinny Valentine cornered by Copeland though. A couple of shots. Cyanide now back on top of THC head off the turnbuckle and steal now with a chop to Vinny Valentine massive damage with a chop to the back and Sydney Steele holding Vinny Valentine massive damage winding up Cyanide thinking better of it looks like he was going to get involved and a chop to the derriere of Vinny Valentine the big sexy beast now from behind with a chop of his own Angelica now the next entrant into this match Going right after Soraya Sawyer. Sawyer down in the corner now. And Vinny Valentine with a chop to Angelica. I mean, he may be thinking better of it now. A chop puts him right down on his butt. Chris Parrish now with a series of shoulders to the gut. In the corner on Steve Rivers. Trying to eliminate Rivers. Angelica and Soraya Sawyer going to go at it here. Sawyer with a forearm to the back. And it followed by another forearm. And now, I mean, mounting Angelica, a series of shots to the back. You see the overhand chop from Travis Copeland to our commissioner, Vinny Valentine, in the back corner. And the overhand forearm shot from Angelica to Soraya Sawyer. Sawyer now hooking up Angelica, maybe looking for a little bit of an unorthodox elimination. Chris Parrish trying to take a breath in this match. He has been in this match from number one all the way through as you see the big sexy beast pounding on Sidney Steele. Angelica successfully managing to eliminate Soraya Sawyer. The big sexy beast looking to eliminate Chris Parrish now. You hear the buzzer, our next entrant gonna make his way to the ring. Jump in Josh, our next entrant. And the final entrant in this match, Cyanide giving up the opportunity to come in last in order to get his hands on Chris Parrish as Vinny Valentine is tossed over the top rope. And Cyanide now going after Angelica as Soraya Sawyer has her foot at ringside. Jumping Josh going after Cyanide. Angelica still safe now in this match. Cyanide with a chop to jump in Josh. He's got his hands on the hair of Angelica and easily looking to toss her over the top rope. 
Angelica hanging on, and there's a shot from Soraya Sawyer. Angelica has been eliminating THC, trying to toss out Steve Rivers, and there you see Rick Jules holding on to the feet of Steve Rivers, preventing Copeland from eliminating him, and Rivers now tossing Travis Copeland over the top rope, the PPW Cruiserweight Champion, eliminated in this match. The field now starting to narrow in this match. Cyanide in the corner there with a low blow to Sidney Steele. But Chris Parrish hopping right back on top of Cyanide. We are down to our final six competitors. Jumpin' Josh tossed over the top rope and now being assaulted by Rick Jules at ringside. Josh is eliminated from this match in a huge super kick. Josh up against that solid steel post, a huge super kick. I almost forgot about Kato, tossed over the top rope by Sydney Steele. And ladies and gentlemen, if my calculations are correct, we are down to the final four in this match. Sydney Steele, Chris Parrish, the big sexy beast, and Cyanide. The last four men in this match, two of whom started this match, have already gone through 11 men. And where we see everything breaking down here, Cyanide with Steel, the big sexy beast with Chris Parrish, pairing off in their corners here. A shot from Cyanide. And it looks like, I mean, I mean, Cyanide calling the shots here, telling the big sexy beast to dump Chris Parrish. The Beast trying to get Parrish up. And Cyanide from behind with a shot to the Big Sexy Beast. Looking to stab Bradley Graham in the back. And I mean, Graham just too heavy having none of that. And Cyanide, it looks like he's, he's starting to regret that decision. As Bradley Graham with an overhand forearm right to the jaw. And look at this, an easy elimination of Cyanide from the Big Sexy Beast. 369 pounds of Bradley Graham and then there were three Sydney Steele Chris Parrish and the big sexy beast and it looks like it looks like Bradley Graham may be going on to take on Kyle Sebastian for the PPW heavyweight championship but I mean being mobbed by Steele and Parrish and easily though with ease pushing them off fighting them off he may be going on to face his adult social society partner Kyle Sebastian for the PPW Heavyweight Championship as he crushes both men in separate corners with those huge splashes. And well now the big sexy beast, it looks like he's thinking he may be eliminating both men and easily going on to the title match. He's got Parrish over the top rope, Parrish in trouble here. Not able to get Steel up over the top, and both men now pounding on the big sexy beast. Chris Parrish still in peril. Double team on the big sexy beast and the elimination. We are down to two. Sydney Steele and Chris Parrish, the final two in the 2018 Power Rumble. And face to face, as you hear this crowd begin to take sides it looks like they may be strongly in favor of Chris Parrish and I mean you have to respect the effort of Chris Parrish as both men shake hands starting at number one now in the final two collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring and both men now raining down blows We've got a hockey fight right in the center of the ring. Steele and Parrish, they know each other so well. They've gone to battle so many times. Steele picking Parrish up, looking to dump him over the top rope. Sydney Steele looking to become the number one contender as Chris Parrish fights back with the right hand and a clothesline. Puts Steele down in the center of the ring. Chris Parrish has got to be exhausted coming in at number one with the Irish whip following it up with the flying calf kick once again putting Steele down both men down though Chris Parrish I mean slow to get back to his feet as I said must be exhausted after all he's been through in this match shot to the gut hooking Sidney Steele up looking for that parachute neck breaker Steele trying to fight out of it. Doesn't look like Parrish quite got all of it. Dropping him on his shoulder and the side of his head instead of the back of his head as he would have preferred. And what Parrish has Steele down. 
It, it looks like he's signaling that he's going up to the top rope. This may not be the best decision for Chris Parrish. I mean, putting himself in harm's way, climbing up to that top rope, all Sidney Steele has to do is recover and knock him down. And there you see the shot from Steele. And all he's got to do is push Chris Parrish off the top rope here. And he wins the Power Rumble. But Sidney Steele, I mean, he may live to regret this. Changing his mind, hooking Chris Parrish up. And a superplex, both men down, center of the ring. And both men need to recover, you have to figure. The first one back to his feet will be the one who wins the 2018 Power Rumble. This has been an absolutely incredible, off the charts match. I have never seen anything quite like this. Both men beginning to stir. Steel back to his feet, Parrish just a second behind him. And there we see a shot from Sidney Steel. And a punch from Chris Parrish. Another shot from Steel. And an elbow, the point of the elbow to the head by Chris Parrish. And there the shot to the throat by Steel. And a super kick by Parrish. Put Sidney Steel down. Parrish just barely up to his feet. Steele beginning to stir. Parrish is gonna look to eliminate Sidney Steele. Gonna look to toss him over the top rope. Chris Parrish is gonna win this match. Sidney Steele with the reversal. Parrish though reversing Steele. Tossing him over the top rope to the floor. And Chris Parrish, your winner of the 2018 Power Rumble, a marathon from Chris Parrish from number one to number 15 winning the Pure Power Wrestling Power Rumble and Chris Parrish has earned the opportunity to challenge PPW Heavyweight Champion Kyle Sebastian at Anniversary Extravaganza 7 as you see the props, the applause from Sidney Steele making his way out. I mean a ton of respect for his opponent here tonight. The story of tonight Chris Parrish going end to end, coast to coast, winning the 2018 Power Rumble. An incredible display of guts, an incredible display of endurance from Chris Parrish. And I mean, an absolutely incredible display like I have never seen. For Pure Power Wrestling, my name is Kevin Farrell. Thank you and tune in next week.